I'm a huge fan of our next performer. Uh, he's been a Capitol Records recording artist for 12 years, and that's longer than the Beatles, and they sold two billion units, and he's somewhere around aluminum. <laughs> Please welcome the very talented Mr. Tim Wilson. I always love working with Ron White because there's 5,000 people. United States military. I'm used to coming to Nashville working for 200 drunk landscapers at the comedy club. So I'm ecstatic to be here. I was in the back watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. So I love Dog the Bounty Hunter. They ought to have him on the religious network. They only pray and cry more than Jimmy Tammy Baker on that show. If I ever skip bail, that's who I want chasing me, though. Who is it? Well, it's either the cops or the bass player from Molly Hatchet. <laughs> He's here with a roller derby woman and two Ferris wheel ticket takers. They're here to... <laughs> They're here to take your ass back to the pokey. <laughs> Dog's wife in a bathing suit will just about ruin Hawaii for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lord knows that ain't easy to do. So. Crank a guitar up. I didn't drive nine hours to sound like shit. <laughs> you can go to war when you're 18, but you can't buy beer. Now you can launch missiles from a submarine, but you can't buy a pistol here. Now you can breathe chemical weapons fumes, but they don't want you to smoke. So when you're shooting up a bar in Baghdad, don't order a rum and coal. Uh, you can have sex when you're 17, you just can't have the cigarette. You ain't old enough for a slot machine or to lay down a football bet. But they'll take you at the clinic if you're 15 and your folks don't have to know. Or you could take penicillin, just don't watch people getting naked on video. Just don't get caught with no beer in your hand if you just turned 18. They don't mind you owning a settling torch and a gallon of gasoline. You just can't buy smokes at the liquor store or y'all will both go to jail. But they'll sell you the rope so you can hang yourself while you're listening to Nine Inch Nails. It's a sorry world, it's a sorry ass world. It's a sorry world when you can raise young'uns but you can't smoke a Marlboro. <laughs> well, thank you. Can everybody understand what I'm saying? I was actually an English major in college. I'm qualified to teach your children grammar. <laughs> It'll show you the sick-ass society that we're living in. <laughs> the Southern accent, after 28 years of study traveling, studying the Southern accent, I figured this out. When you get south of Gainesville, Florida, that's where the Southern accent stops. When you get south of Gainesville, you're back in Michigan. North of Gainesville, you get the North Florida accent. It's sort of the Ronnie Van Zant, Leonard Skinner pothead thing. Hi, <laughs> man, y'all gonna go to Panama City tomorrow, man? All right, man, we'll see y'all over there then. <laughs> South Georgia, you talk like Jimmy Carter. Nobody has any R's in the woods, and they all sound like they'll get the crap beat out of them, <laughs> which was pretty much his M.O. the whole time he was president. North Georgia, everything's got an R in it. Put the back tar in your car there. Pull it back around there. They don't say y'all, they say you and Jones. Put the back tar in your car there. Pull it back around there. Alabama, you open your mouth out real wide like this so they can see every tooth in your damn head. <laughs> kind of like Vic Henley. <laughs> Are y'all gonna go Wednesday night or Thursday night? I think I'll go Thursday because I got a dental appointment on Wednesday. Mississippi, you told like Elvis Presley. Everybody got that little stutter in there. They can't quite get it out. You just can't quite get it out. 
Louisiana, they got the French thing. They bought that thing from France. They just a little cooler than everybody else here. I personally think we ought to sell Louisiana's ass tomorrow. That state ain't been nothing but a headache past 15 years. We bought it in 1803. Louisiana purchased, paid three cents an acre for it. I bet you if we sold it tonight, we could triple our money. I live in Kentucky now, which is a neutral state. You can always tell a neutral state. You stop to get sweet tea. Can I get some sweet tea? Some, we have sugar on the table. I go, lady, you ever tried to dissolve sugar in cold fucking water? God bless the United States military. Thanks for having me.